Well, I'm a road runner, honey. And with Louis Valenzuela, his private business in his home in Victorville, California, and I'm interviewing him about his upholstery business. And we're just here asking him a few questions about what he does. So could you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, and how did you get into upholstering? Well, I grew up in Bellflower, back in the 70s. And uh, I needed to get a job, so I didn't get in trouble. So I went and asked this person over there and uh, see if he needed any help. And uh, the first time, the first time he says no, and then I keep bugging him, and he says, oh, "Okay, well, it looks like you want to work. So, uh, what do you do? I can do whatever: sweep the floors, or you know, pull the seats out of the cars." So that's how I started. I worked for that person eight years, and then I worked five years for another person, also in Bellflower, and then uh, we move up here in '87. And then I opened my own shop. I've been doing all my life. And you never went to school or anything? You just kind of... No, not for this kind of trade. Okay. And what do you enjoy most about working on cars or upholstering? Well, what I enjoy the most is, you know, when you see the customer face and he's real happy and when they tell you, say, you know what, this is better than what I had in mind. That's, that's better than a hundred dollars. Are you a mechanic also? Uh, no, only on my own cars. Mm -hmm. So I don't get sued. <laughs> <laughs> do you do I any? I have my own cars. Do you do any painting at all? No, no painting. Mm. Not even on the wall. I'm no? too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have liked to do any painting? Did you have any? I don't know any goal to ever do any painting? No. Did ever? No. I'm not good painting. I'm good sewing, cutting, and sewing. Mm, do you have any children? Yes, I do. I have two beautiful daughters. Have they ever been interested mm -hmm. in no, getting into the business? No, they like it. <laughs> okay. Well, could you show us around your shop? Sure. Okay. Uh, just be careful. And uh, that's my sewing machine right here. My sewing machine. It's kind of messy right now. But uh, this is the kind of work that I do. What kind of car is this? This is a 1932 Ford Roadster. I did the top and I feed the trunk. I already put the feed the lungs back in the trunk. Put a little pocket for maps or. And about how long does it take you to uh, work on a car like this? It's all depends. It all depends. You know, if I'm in a good mood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I also done uh, some uh, <clears throat> motorcycle seats for uh, professional racing, third bike. And every seat is for a different purpose. Like this one, it's softer. This is for uh, a very a bumpy road, and um, this is for jumping. And every every seat is good for a different. For a different purpose. And do you uh, draw out the plans or do you, is it all freehand? Yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Yeah, so I can show it to the customer before I start working on it. I always, you know, draw a picture and I say, what do you think about this? And he says, yeah, go ahead and do it. So they pretty much just trust you and then just oh, let yeah. you? Yeah, no. 99% uh, of my customers, they just say, just do your job and I know I'm going to like it. So they trust me. That's good. Yeah. And Till now, I haven't had to redo anything. They always like it at the first time. 